So my adventure today takes me to Southern California, south of LA, to Laguna Niguel, California. So I'm starting out a painting here. This is a nice house, uh, sunset, sun's going down, and uh, put in the blue sky there with a little bit of warm color, warm tone to it, very light blue sky. Now I'm adding in this greenery. The bulk of the painting, the bulk of this painting, the lower, almost two thirds of the painting is greenery and uh, kind of just trying to suggest some of that. A lot of warm greens uh, and as the painting goes down it'll be in shadow with some cooler greens. And I kind of just filled that in for now as kind of a base layer. And now I'm putting on a very light yellow ochre layer for this house and I just wanted some warmth to this house. It's a white house up on a hill and uh, now I'm just painting on uh, the roof line which is very important. This roof really is going to show the warmth of this house and kind of the value and kind of the contrast of the painting. So it's very important to get these strokes right, kind of let it bleed into the sky. Uh, everything's kind of a little bit wet, but now I let everything dry and now I'm doing uh, doing the palm trees behind the house, putting a base layer on a brown and then going on top with like darker greens and stuff and kind of just suggesting some palm tree leaves and little dots and things around these palm trees. I find that like adding little leaves and dots like that gives the greenery a little bit more life. It's kind of like if you were did some splattering around the green, around the leaves and stuff. Um, so that's what I kind of like to do. It's just kind of a sketchy look, more loose look. Also some palm trees off to the side here. So I'm kind of just, uh, you know, using those palm trees to kind of balance out everything. And there's this tree on the side of the house as well, which kind of gives shape to the side of that house uh, and some contrast as well. So it's pretty, uh, it's a pretty solid painting, pretty solid composition. Uh, this kind of really bright house in the middle of all this dark greenery. So I'm going back in with the second layer of greens. There you can see the greenery is actually a lot darker than you think it is. Uh, trees and stuff are a lot darker than you might think. But I used a lot of warm greens and then I'm using cooler greens as I go down. And then the darkest darks there are gonna be very warm. So that's where you see kind of the overall structure of this painting. Uh, warm light, cooler shadows with a really dark accent, a really warm dark accent, which I'm kind of suggesting in there now. Everything's really wet right now, so I'm kind of painting wet into wet, letting everything bleed a bit, but really using a lot of pigment. And now I'm putting in the darkest darks on the house there, just some suggestion of line work and stuff for the roof, underneath the roof. Um, to really bring that out more some windows and stuff it's a little suggestion of windows nothing too crazy um, gotta have the splattering in the foreground I'm probably gonna add a few different layers of splattering you know everything is still a little bit wet I painted this in the evening in the shade so it was quite cool at night as the Sun was going down so it took a long time for everything to dry uh, and I kind of got a little impatient <laughs> trying to wait for that you can see the warmth that I have uh, above and then the cooler patches below for shadows and stuff. I probably still could even push the value a little bit more, a little bit more splattering here to finish it up. But I uh, will take a quick look, quick look at the final painting just to see what it looks like there. All right, what's going on everybody? I'm out here, Laguna Niguel, California. But uh, I can't really talk much, I gotta get the painting. The sun's about to set, as you can see. But a uh, beautiful little park with an amazing view. And uh, I'm the only person out here. So I'm just gonna get to start painting. Maybe do one or two paintings. Hopefully before the sun sets, maybe after. Uh, we'll see what happens. All right, so starting off this painting at this lovely park, as you guys just saw, Sun's going down over these hills. It was really epic, really incredible view. It's hard to capture on the little camera that I have. It's kind of like a GoPro and it's just not that great for capturing a landscape like this, all the details and stuff. So we'll leave that for the painting to show off. Um, so I start out with like a warm orange. You can see I left most of the saturation right around the sun. I left the white of the paper there and I'm kind of softening a little bit there, making the sun a bit smaller. 
So I'm putting all the heat right around the sun and then as it gets to the corners of the page, I added in some ultramarine blue mixed with the yellow ochre, kind of that, just like a warm gray. And that's gonna give even more heat and saturation to the sun right around the sun. And all these cools that I'm just putting in now on these on the hills, it's, you know, to one way to make your heat hotter in your painting, uh, you know, your colors warmer, is to make your cools cooler. So I'm really playing off the warms and cools here. Trying to get some splatters here right at the beginning for this greenery. Kind of going to paint into those a little bit. Just trying to keep things loose. And as you can see, I kind of ruined the sunset with this tree <laughs> a little bit. As you'll see as the painting progresses, I kind of cover up some of that sunset. Uh, maybe a little too much than I wanted. But it's kind of cool because it gives me an opportunity to play around with the light effects on this tree. And what I end up doing is putting all the heat, a really nice red and warmth right around the sun where the tree is. So I'll try to give like a light effect. Don't know if I was completely successful, but I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, kind of really gives the idea of heat and like the atmosphere, something you would actually see. You know, when you squint your eyes down and look at a sunset, this is kind of things you're gonna see. You're gonna notice that the sky is actually really gray. The sun is very saturated and everything right around the sun, the atmosphere, all that, it's gonna be very hot, very hot. And I'm putting in the darkest darks now, as you can see, a little more suggestion. And this painting's just about done, really quick one. And uh, we'll take a look at th this final painting as well. All right, folks, so I just finished the first one. Uh, it came out pretty well, I think. Maybe I did the tree a little too crazy, kind of blocked the sunset a little bit, but... I like it, it's pretty cool, but I think I'm going to try to do one more, if that will dry quick enough so I can turn the page. Anyway guys, I will see you on part two, so stay tuned for that one, and uh, take care of yourself. Peace.